You are now listening to the podcast for geeks and the stuff they love, where each week we'll talk about everything from anime to movies, games, and prop collecting with the people who create and love it. I'm Jeremy. I'm James. And this is your Geek Fix. Cool. So I, I, I know that there's a lot of big things that are coming out, particularly because of uh, Unreal Engine. Five, you know, there's been all these things that uh, people keep on showing off. And honestly, a lot of that also plays into the newer consoles that are coming out is what's the main reason to get these consoles now? Because, I mean, there's so many games that you can play in other ways, and we already have so many consoles. Why buy these new ones that you can't even barely access because everyone out there is, is getting it at the same time? Is, is there a case for it? Is, is is one of my questions. Also, what are the consoles that we're holding on to for you all out there? What are the consoles that you're holding on to out there that have been around maybe for a long time? What, what do you use them for these days? Are they still something that you're actively using? Or are they just a part of a uh, part of the uh, the environment at this point in time? Uh, let us let us know because that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit today. And James and I already actually kind of started this conversation a little bit uh, because, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I am extremely interested. I, in this room alone, I have multiple. Let's see here. I have I have everything from the PlayStation. I don't have the PS One in here, but I do have the PlayStation Two through the PlayStation Four. I never bought the PlayStation Five because I don't know. Uh, when it was when it was really popular to try and get, of course you can get it. And now I'm I don't know why I would get it. Also, a couple of games really do make it hard not to want to, and, and some of the other consoles that are coming out, you know, that's their big thing is detail, cinematics, things like that 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 are happening. Um, and so yeah, I just want to kind of get a feel for for where things are. What do you think, James? Like, what, you've got some a, quite yeah, so... a few consoles that you were able to show me. I've I've got um, so if we're talking about uh, Sony, I've got the PlayStation One and PlayStation Two. Uh, I used to have a PSX, the the fat PlayStation oh, yeah. One, but I yeah I haven't been able to find that in the last few years. I um, I've got uh, the Nintendo uh, Game Boy uh, Color, so I've got the original oh, Color. Hi. I've got the SP. I didn't I didn't ever have the Game Boy Advance, uh, the like actual normal one. I had the SP, which yeah. was the uh, so so no one. videos then, right? The, 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 the color didn't do videos, did it? It was that only the GBA that did that. Uh, you could watch movies and stuff. N- yeah, no, I don't think the color did. I know the color okay. had a camera app or a camera cartridge. Oh, yeah, and a printer. <laughs> oh yeah, and a printer, and a printer, because you could print yeah. off. Uh, if you played the Pokemon games, you could print off your Hall of Fame like, certificate, like a receipt. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the yeah. the videos the, the videos is very very uh, obscure because I, I only recently like uh, scouring YouTube uh, mm-hmm. saw a video of somebody who collects like really retro uh, like video game stuff mm-hmm. and and he had I think it was for the Game Boy Advance like I think in his case he used the SP but yeah mm-hmm. you could um, like have very very low quality video uh, yeah. films and stuff on the Game Boy Advance which was just incredible. Yeah. Um, the PSP also had uh, films, so although that wasn't as obscure. No. Um, and I've got a PSP Fat model, like the very first 1000 model. Of course, model. those were on, yeah, the 1000. Of course, those were on UMDs, which broke yep. instantly. <laughs> I, I never had a broken one, but yeah. No, never? They, yeah. Oh, man. No, no, no. They were Stupid very... glass would always pop through, and then you'd have oh. to try to line up that disc just right inside the casing. And, and I've, then stick it I've in. I've been lucky then. <laughs> Where have you? Oh, that's I, good. I, for, for the PSP, I only had like very few games, and then I had most like physical games, and then I had most yeah. of them downloaded. Uh, yeah. But I, I, I like the games that I most remember for the PSP were like Monster Hunter United uh, or mm. Monster Hunter Freedom Two, mm. and the Yu Gi Oh GX Tag Force Three. Uh, like mm-hmm. just two other ones like from from my childhood. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, the, the other consoles, I was very into the Xbox 360, which mm-hmm. is where like I really started with uh, uh, Bethesda. So Skyrim, oh, I remember yeah. playing like 200 hours or like minimum. Uh, yeah. Fallout along the same lines, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, uh, right. completed all achievements multiple times on different consoles. <laughs> um, did, did you always buy or did you ever rent? Uh, I, I know that for the PlayStation Two I rented. Did you? Uh, but for 
for other games, but oh, Jesus, renting. I, I, I've only just remembered yeah. renting because in in GameStop in town, which GameStop closed years ago, but yeah, GameStop you could rent oh. games. You can't do yeah. that anymore. Or you can't or do trade that them anymore. At least, yeah, you, you no. can still trade them. Yeah, but yeah, no, I I I don't remember renting a game. I know that I borrowed games from like friends and stuff, but I never mm. rented a game in a shop. But yeah, that yeah. that is that's a a bit of nostalgia. I couldn't, I didn't remember yeah. renting games. <laughs> Some games were just so expensive, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then, and, and, and if still you're are. like me, you also played it on the computers. <laughs> Do I need two copies of this because they're not cross compatible? Uh, yeah, yeah. Especially <laughs> for for like multiplayer games, if you had uh, friends that had it for one console and didn't have it for the other. Nowadays, yeah. at least, they do seem to be uh, making it more widely available. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, Fallout was. Wait, which 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 games were that I I used to play a couple of games that were like that that they had a whole different version, and and group that could play on it that were tied to the PlayStation. But when you got online, I'm fairly sure that Lost Planet might be along those lines, like the Lost oh, Planet yeah. saga that you could only connect to other people on the Xbox or other people on the PlayStation. I don't think you could yeah. connect the oh, two of them. Star Trek was one of the ones I was thinking of. The start, the the one where you can actually command the ships and everything. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, yeah. They ran two different servers, I'm guessing. But at the same mm. time, I'm like, yeah, it's like, oh, so now I've got to get <laughs> if I gotta get together with my friend, I've got to buy this other thing, and I I don't know. But, yeah. But so. then nowadays, <laughs> like I I really enjoy having, and I I have this on my table. I really enjoy having the old hardware. Like this is the old oh, uh, yeah. slim PS2. Yeah. But, Nowadays, it's just so much easier uh, using uh, emulators, which are widely available and extremely easy to to uh, set up. You've got the legal part of it, which is like legally you're not necessarily buying games, but you're ripping them. But right, right. I don't know. Nowadays, you can't really go much anywhere to buy PS2 games or PS1 games unless you either download yeah. them or you find someone on eBay or yeah, uh, I don't know. Well, in some of the old, uh, you know, I've uh, I've played some of my favorite PS2. I think it's PS2. Maybe I'm thinking of the PS1. I had a couple of games where it was split across two DVDs or two discs. Uh, uh, and the trick with emulation with those is that you have to you have to you have to do a um, you have to create a special file so that it combines the two so it can run it as a game. Um, the Jackie Chan game. I remember that one's one of the ones. So you know, you can't just you can't just emulate the single ISO. You have to no, you have, you to, have actually to do a special. You know, but, but even file still, it's it. it's not too difficult. It's yeah, and and the amount, as I say, like you can emulate anything from uh like really really old uh Atari or or yeah. like base Nintendo all the way up yeah. to nowadays. You can you can emulate Switch games. You can emulate. Yeah. Uh, PS4 is supposedly there, although I haven't looked into that. Um, yeah. PS3 definitely. So like it gets harder. The kind of the harder it's gonna. I mean, um, emulation. The tricky part with it is the kind of the higher end graphics yeah. you get, the more you're gonna get some lag with emulation because it can't emulate that. It can't uh, fully support your. It won't yeah. use your graphics card to be able to make that stuff work. It's using its it own. It's fake not, engine. <laughs> it, it's not necessarily because of the hardware as such, from what I understand. It's just uh -huh. the software that is used to emulate it. Because like yeah. most nowadays, well, depending on um like if you if you are into it or not, but like most gaming PCs with their graphics card, I think right. have the hardware for it. Like if you compare an yeah. old PS4, for example, to a gaming computer like to nowadays, yeah. the gaming computer is gonna have a lot more. It's just we don't yet have the software that can emulate uh those other consoles yeah. because the same well, thing was said about like xbox and xbox you can run yeah relatively well now. i know that like some things like say i want to go in and uh i mean it, again it depends on your system but i hmm. mean right now over here i've got a uh oh it's turned off but you know i have a game um whoop <laughs> i do have a case that has Two, uh, two types of systems, and I have I have one that's just a, a Raspberry Pi, uh, mm -hmm. a four, I think it is. So it has a little bit more RAM in it. Mm -hmm. But then I also have a secondary system in there, and both of them, of course, are emulating games. Games I own. I, I'm doing a video on it. <laughs> I'm gonna prove it. <laughs> but yeah. you know what I mean, like police like knocking the, on the door. <laughs> the 
whole thing of well the whole thing of you know i i have a lot of games but i don't want to be switching out you know i i'm not angry video game nerd even though i get a lot of comments that think i am uh i, I do i do have like you know i don't want to be plugging and unplugging stuff and i know that there's systems you can buy right now that literally have an xbox built into it with a playstation you know the newest xbox the newest playstation and stuff like that and you just switch the switch and it goes back and forth but um at the same time my playstation portable my psp Mm -hmm. uh i have a 1000 and the 2000 that both of them i hacked so i could you know play other games on and back back then you could also i could watch tv on it and stuff like that and there's all sorts of things that thing used to do yeah uh, live TV. It used to control your TV from home and stream the through oh, wow. at a time yeah, when I, that wasn't a thing. Yeah, like, no, I, I didn't know about that. I, I, oh yeah, I, it was I, incredible. Also, I also did the hack so that obviously you could play uh, different PSP games or that you could play yeah. uh, other console, uh, other console yeah. games like Game Boy and stuff. But I didn't know you could do yeah. live TV. Well, is that was a Sony thing, so that wasn't even a hack. So Sony saw something called the base station, and it, and it looked like a it looked like the PS uh, two, the ones that would stand on its side. It uh-huh. looked like a smaller version of one of those, and you put it on top of your TV, and what it would do is it would stream the stuff through through to your PlayStation, um, you, you know, using the portal, mm-hmm. um, and it would uh, to your PSP. I mean, and then it would actually there was two RF signals that would stick on the front of your TV, and it would change the channel so on your on your oh. uh, cable box or whatever. So my kid would be at home watching TV, for example. And I'd be at work, and I could change their channel or turn off the TV. <laughs> so, but yeah, and and people, particularly like in in Japan and stuff, would watch on the buses. They would take their playstations with them, and they could actually, you know, stream the whole thing because they've always had awesome Wi Fi out there. Mm. Uh, stream the whole thing. Uh, I stopped being able to use it though once when we stopped when the when the bands that that, that you get for your for your Wi Fi router when they started going up. It, it stopped working with those. So I couldn't oh, yeah. use it anymore because I think it was like a 2.0 or something like that. But um, but at the same time, it was, yeah, it was pretty cool. You could do that. You could you could also stream games through it. So then yeah. you could play, play your normal PlayStation at, at home and then be able to use your controllers. So, I mean, those things were there. But then, then the mer- memory card, I also bought the special memory card that lets you slide in to uh, 120 gigabytes uh, uh micro mm-hmm. sds into it and uh and then i had all my games for game boy advance and whatever else were all on there and we still have it and we still my kids still playing it upstairs uh that's, that's right great that's now the best part of so it. you know yeah and it's been around for what 20 years <laughs> 16 it, years 17 years it's <laughs> such a good console like it was yeah it it felt fa- f- it fits so well in the hand and it's yeah. so like it, it's potential, like the screen quality, so on and so forth. The only thing that I can think that is like as good as that nowadays would be something like the Steam Deck or equivalent. Yeah. Like it's yeah. just that format and that power and potential. Like, yeah. And especially with did, the Steam did Deck. Did you think so about on. getting the Steam Deck? I did. It's still in my wish list. Uh, the yeah. only reason that I haven't gone for it yet is because I uh, don't typically game on the go. Like if yeah. I want to play something, I. I'm just doing not doing that. Yeah. Um, and because uh, the, the gaming computer that I've got at the moment is powerful enough, I don't yeah. like if I, if I didn't have one or if I just had a console, then I might consider it like having that yeah. as my main computer, like using it with a dock and then you've got your computer on the go. But yeah. it's just sadly not necessary. I, I thought about it. I was one of those that got one of the first ones to get my $5. You know, I put in my $5. Yeah, my, a... and then they contacted me and say, "Okay, it's your turn in line." And I had to make that decision, and I, and I, I pulled, I, I pulled out of it. Although one of the people I've talked about, I talked to on this uh, channel too, uh, um, Martin uh, Smith, um, he who works for Sony, he, he said that uh, he, uh, you know, he makes games and everything else. He he put in for it and he bought it, and they delivered it. And then as soon as he got it, he was like. I, I I feel like I just made a bad mistake and he turned it back, he sent it back. Oh, so, wow. you know, I mean, I've, I've, I haven't heard a lot of people that kept theirs so far, so I don't know. No? Um, I haven't really got to see one. I haven't got to play with one or anything like that. But, I, I haven't had uh, to, had the chance to 
use one either. Like yeah. I know that people at the like at the beginning thought that it was extremely bulky, like and that mm -hmm. the uh, hand placement was awkward. But mm -hmm. I've never and heavy the, and heavy. I've never had the chance yeah. to sit down and use one. Like I know people yeah. think that or compare compare it with the Switch and that the Switch is a lot uh, easier to handle and stuff. But I think like mm -hmm. power uh, or like potential wise, the the, yeah. uh, the Steam Deck is so much better. That's yeah, the Switch is also a more reasonable price. I mean, I don't mind buying a Switch. We have mm. a Switch, you know. What I mean, and which can also be hacked, but it's, yes, <laughs> yes. But I'm fairly it has sure a pretty good system in it. <laughs> I think the other, th like, because apart from the Steam Deck, there's lots and lots of other companies that use or that like are preparing like Windows or or like even handheld based things. And I think the one right. that I'm thinking of is the Odin Air or Odin Neo or something along those yeah. lines. Yeah, I've looked um, at that. Yeah, which seems to be sort of the middle ground between like the steam deck and this because i don't think it's as powerful as the steam deck although yeah. i might be wrong um but it lets you do so much more than a switch would for the same yeah. sort of i think price range and like weight and size and so on so yeah because I ha i've had people that, that have asked me like should i go with this or this and i say well i would go with this possibly <laughs> because you have so much more yeah. uh options the more. freedom is better you know yeah and the price is a little it's still expensive though yeah I mean, it's outside my price range of what it's not outside my price range it's outside of what i feel what, like what I you would feel comfortable in paying for yeah <laughs> yeah yeah like just plenty of things out there that i i could get but my wife would not be happy about so <laughs> I, I think she's pretty important and keep happy so <laughs> yeah, Hold you back. yeah that's part of why i'm not gonna buy a yeah a, yeah yeah a yeah, thousand dollar console either you know and i have i have no reason you know like you said, any games that I'm interested in, I can play on my computer. Admittedly, there are some things I wouldn't mind seeing or experimenting with that are on, you know, on some of these other, these newer systems. But mm. uh, I don't know. And I'm really more into the VR stuff, too. If I am going to really spend mm. time on stuff, I've lately, it's probably been more VR than it is, or at least. Which hybrid, VR setup do you have? I, I actually have quite a few but the ones oh. the ones that i've i've liked the most have been the oculus i mean i've been in with the oculus before it was even you know in the general market so i i i kind of got on board a long long time ago with not the dk1 but i did the do the dk2 mm -hmm. and and it was one of the developers that's how that's the only way you could get it you had to show you were a developer so i was one of the developer people back then and the right. great thing about that was Back then, you like logged on every day, and there was just like hundreds and hundreds of uh, programs that people had created, and it was just free to download and try and play. And continue, that was yeah. kind of the days that I think were better than what it is even now. I get that it might not have been able to do some of the things that it does now and stuff, but I still I still have it sitting over here, the original one. But mm -hmm. but I do like I and I I do have now the 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 full you know the. I know now they're going to the meta thing and I am buying the new, the new headset. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm going to go for it. I, I really like the stuff on it. I mean, I do. I like, I like the immersive things. I really like playing. Um, if you like playing games, like uh, if you like doing um, flight simulator, stuff like that, which I do, that's the best experience for. Yeah. Just being days. fully immersed. It's so yeah. It's so great. So, so I don't know. That's probably more where my money would go. But I am curious. I'm curious for people to tell us like what they have as far as what, what's their kit. What's the what are the games that they're playing? What? How did you justify it? Did you have to wait in line? Did you did you do all of the? Did you steal it? I don't know. <laughs> how did you get that thing, anyways? Right? And, and and are you happy that you got it? What you know? What are you doing with it these days? What are the games that you're that you're playing, you know, is it just for, because you want to get cyberpunk and, and, and get the, the new Odin or to get the uh, new uh, uh, games that are, they're coming out. Um, I don't know, but uh, let us know uh, at your geek fix at gmail.com. Uh, we're, we're here regularly. The next time we'll, we'll have bins on probably again. Um, we'll see. <laughs> it's been hard to get together because things just keep on happening. They're kind of wild and crazy. But at any rate, if you've enjoyed this podcast and want more, stay tuned for that. But also check out our channel. Join the community on YouTube that goes by the same name, Your Geek Fix. Check out James at Mr. Malto 4 on Instagram and the Replica Prop Forum. We also want to hear from you, so be sure to send your questions, stories, and other projects to yourgeekfix at gmail.com. In the meantime, this 
has been your Geek Fix.